I feel like that sound could be ASMR. Oh, yeah, I'm sound of the mince meat. Yeah, yeah, just do it, just do it around the mince meat. That's some food ASMR right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Morning, I am feeling so much better. I feel is close to back to normal as I am going to get um, so yeah so today is day three of the lipstick challenge and today I'm not actually wearing lipstick but it's called a lip marker um, this is the newest one of my stuff actually I've had this one for about 18 months now so this is my new lipstick for the most part but it gives it a very natural look like almost like this is my natural lip color So I'm going to go do some sewing now up in the sewing cave. Um, probably the last time I'm going to be able to do any sewing before um, the Christmas rush starts. My kids have got two more days of school left and then they'll be on their Christmas break. So yeah, and I need to start planning for um, Christmas. So it's going to be exciting stuff. Hello sewing cave, we're here to do a bit more sewing now. So first off is just finishing off this Moneta dress and then we're going to be cutting out the girls' Christmas dresses. Okay so with the Moneta I left off at where the skirt pockets had been added so now I just have to sew down the side seams and then I have to put the elastic on the waist and attach it to the top and I should be done. So I ran out of black elastic and I've had to use white elastic on this even though black would have been better but I had loads and loads of the white elastic and I just thought why not use what I have. Yeah. So we're now going to connect this a lovely skirt onto the bodies and I'm nearly done da 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 <laughs> my moneta dress is done Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to make is I'm making a an Autobri uh, pattern in this velour for my son. 
and it's going to be a hooded top this pattern i've made it three times uh, before uh, so yeah so that's going to go next i'm doing that because my overlock has already loaded with a dark color thread as is my sewing machine so wrapping christmas presents for the kitties <laughs> As we're prepping for Christmas. <laughs> so I'm looking for a sewing pattern out of one of the October magazines to cut out the Christmas dresses for my girls. I don't know where I put it. I know I put it away recently because I used it to make the unicorns dresses for them. Um, but anyway, in the process of looking for them, um, I found some of these pattern pieces um, for things that I didn't sew because the kids grew out of them. So I just wanted to give you some uh, sewing advice if you're looking at sewing patterns for kids. Number one, don't let your projects marinate. You can do that for yourself as a grown up because you've done most of your growing and you're only either going to be getting wider or thin and it's easy to take in if you do that. But with kids, they're growing wider and they're also growing like that. So all of this stuff that I traced, there's a dress here, which has like umpteen pattern pieces and leggings from when they were 98 centimeters tall. They are now 123 centimeters, so I can't use that anymore. Um, linen pants, again, from when they were 98 centimeters. So, you know, if you're going to be sewing for kids, you need to basically learn not to even do batch cutting because like if you do the batch cutting and then something else comes up and then you go off the, they're going to grow out of it just like that so you know you decide you're going to sew something for them do it straight away set that time otherwise you just end up like me with wasted baking parchment and we're still wasted time all that time that i spent tracing this um but yeah so don't don't marinate kids sewing projects at all because this now can't use that so i literally just went onto my uh phone and went onto youtube and i found out that they have made to all the boys i've loved part two i am so excited right now if you haven't watched that netflix film it's called to all the boys i loved it is such a cute film with so much heart it is awesome and it's coming back the, uh, the second one is coming on uh, february the 12th so yay yellow these colors slime i love this slime the boy if the boys see this i want to play with it <laughs> wow that looks like Rainbow snot. Yeah, it's not snot. Anyways, if you try mixing it with play doh, it will turn into play doh hard slime. Uh. Mm, I don't like um hard. Wow, you look so amazing. Yeah, Daddy helped me make them. Mm -hmm. the Glow in the dark glasses. Yeah, I love these. These are awesome. I need to get me some of those. Yeah. They, me too. They might fit you because they're a bit big for me and. If I do that, they will fit me. Try them on, Mama. Okay, so I'm about to try on some. They fit? They do. Glow in the dark glasses. Yeah, give me that glasses. There you go. Thank you for letting I me try them on. I really great. Dinner today was spaghetti and bolognese for everybody else, and I just had bolognese all right so i'm gonna to call today done the boys are going to a party with their scouts groups um so my boys are explorers cubs and beavers they is <laughs> so they're going to be gone for a couple of hours so i have to go take them and then we're going to do the girls' hair okay I'll see you guys tomorrow. Super excited about tomorrow because we're going to the Christmas market and we also have um, family movie night. So it's going to be exciting.